Welcome to the Chapter 10, Section 1 podcast. Chapter 10 is about circular motion, and the main point of this chapter is centripetal force keeps an object in circular motion. So we're going to look, answer questions such as this, like, uh, which kind of, which moves faster on a merry-go-round, the horse on the outside rail or the one on the inside rail? And, um, the first thing we need to do is figure out the difference between rotation and revolution. So two types of circular motion are rotation and revolution. An axis. An axis is the straight line around which a rotation takes place, such as the axle of a car. So when an uh, object turns around an internal axis, that is the axis is located within the body of the object, and that motion then is called rotation or spin. S for instance, the Earth the Earth spins on its own axis, so that would be uh, rotation or spin. And when the object turns about an external axis, the motion is called revolution. The Earth rotates around the Sun, so that would be revolution. The uh, axis being the Sun, which is external to the Earth. So let's look at a Ferris wheel. There's turns about an axis. Here's your axis right here, all right, and the Ferris wheel itself rotates because the axis is within the Ferris wheel, while the riders revolve. The riders are outside the axis; they're not inside the axis, so they revolve around the axis of the steering wheel. Here is a merry-go-round. Once again, similar idea: the platform rotates, whoops, whereas the riders revolve. And here's the Earth. The Earth undergoes both types of rotational motion, like I said. It revolves around the Sun, and it rotates about its axis, passing through the geographical poles about every 24 hours. That's one day. Here's a figure stator rotating. She's going to rotate, doing a very tight spin on that one skate. And uh, she could also revolve if she has a partner. Why the picture isn't showing up there. So what are the two types of circular motion? Two types of circular motion are rotation and revolution.